Alright, look who it is. One thirty. What did Toe Jam and Earl have for us? They have brandished two. God damn it! Oh boy. I hope this doesn't have that room turning gimmick. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty good game. If it does, I am not playing this for like more than five minutes. It has been a long time since the room turning goodness of the old days. This tower still exists. It might have existed before, I don't really remember. But the important part is that we can go on another adventure. An adventure into the world of Brandish 2, where you brandish your sword at things and potentially turn around in annoying ways. Prepare yourself for the epic journey of one man into a dungeon. You will find things and use them against other things while searching for the thing you love. These old men will try to stop you. They are greedy, power-hungry bastards. And that one's that grandpa from Wondrous Magic that likes to bounce and rape his daughters, whatever, it doesn't matter. And they, I quote, they say, Ha ha, you have no match against us. We are old men and have power. You are but a small weakling. And so they laugh at you and they wait you for you to go into their tower and kill things because that's how they that, that's their entertainment they watch you destroy their minions and hopefully die and and this is you talking now and you're like i will never die i am too good but i might quit because this game may suck and they are like i do not care because I, I just want to see you kill things. And so you found a giant spider, and you slayed the beast, and then you looked very heroic at that one time, but can you do it again? You will find out in Brandish. This is the sword you will be brandishing. It has ancient runes marked on the blade and it sparkles every once in a while. Of course, you will not see it in-game because it will be a small sprite and just look like a sword. Any other sword would have done. Will this game ever start? The world may never know. I guess it's time to start. Yes? No, I must tell you about two years ago when my sister... Ah, oh, it was so funny. She was walking down the desert in the heat. Like this. Oh man, you're gonna love it. And she was really hot and sweaty in her, her armor, and she had the sword that you are about to use. And, and that's when she stopped and she noticed something on, on the next hill, and she was like, Oh my god, is that a, a giant group of raiders? Are they going to raid me? And they were like, No, we're not raiders, we're just delusion. Ahaha, <laughs> it's so funny. And she was alone again, and she was like, God damn it! And she fell in the sand and got dirty. And that is the story of what happened to my sister two years. And no, wait, no, I forgot this part. The, the raiders she thought she saw, they actually came five minutes later and saved her life. That is why it is funny instead of tragic.
That has nothing to do with this game, though. I should not have told that story in the intro. Okay, so that made no sense at all. I have absolutely no idea what's about. Hey, what the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't spin around, I'm looking at this picture. You're in the way. Oh god. Brandish, too expert. Okay. Wait, we're still not done with the intro? This is the king, he sits on his throne. Um, I'm a lady! And she blinks and she's like, tee hee! We're gonna see these people eventually. I have killed all of you! Ha <laughs> ha! Fancy split screen there. Oh damn! Look at the boobies. And I think that guy on the right's gay. of the north, even though I've got a southern accent. Eventually, we will go into this tower, I swear to God. But we must first watch a movie about other things. Again, we've already, we've already watched two, but we're gonna watch another one. Or maybe not, I do not know. Hey all, you wanna play my game? Is there gonna be another one? Oh no, that's it, finally. Except my control is not set up properly. Wait, no, I can't go to continue, that's all. I'm playing it on easy, bitch. I am not gonna deal with this game in the normal way. Oh god. You have watched a very long intro, now it is time for text boxes. You see, we have to explain everything to you in Japanese so you do not know what's going on. The uh, square button will, uh... Wait, there's no square button, you assholes! You're tricking me! The square button will make this fly fly around in front of your monitor instead of the entire rest of your room that it has that you would not care where it's flying. Chapter 1-1. One, one. Hello, welcome to the dungeon. You are laying on the ground. Should you get up? Chapter 2. You probably should get up, so once you've gotten up, you should get your sword out. You see, when you get your sword out, you can attack things, and then we will turn on the room spinny feature, and it will annoy the fuck out of you, and you will never even play this game. You're going... Chapter one, 3. You're going to upload... An entire fucking video of nothing but credits, I mean cutscenes and text boxes. Chapter 4. I raped your mom last night. She loved it though. Ha <laughs> ha! You have 800. <laughs> Holy shit, what is that? Let's see. 1,800,000 1, gold to start with. <laughs> but the, the prices are rather exorbitant. So, uh, spend it wisely, it's gonna be ridiculous. You won't even tell how many zeros a price has, it's just gonna- you're- you're gonna hate it. I'm out of here, fuck this shit. Player one! Get your ass off the fucking ground, now! I am tired of waiting here for you to get up. Do it! And then they lock me in. And suddenly, just because that door closed, I can't see through the wall on the left anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's even worse than before. There's a thing there! This is the button to examine things. 
You are a loser. Wait, no, it says Gary was here, Ash is a loser. Well, let's just explore every nook and cranny of this place. That one said, uh, help me, I am trapped. No shit. Well, this is a nice cell and all, but I think I'm gonna go knock on this door. It just says door, I bet. Alright, let's see, what do we what do we got here? We've got item. We've got no, don't do that. He stole my 1.8 million gold! Oh shit. Alright, um... That map is the most annoying thing. Look at this GUI, it's fucking ridiculous. You can barely see shit. I'm sure there is something that those are telling me that I should do, but I don't know what it is. So, so this game is about a ridiculously long intro guy who keeps telling stories that aren't even related to the game you're about to play, and then he gets thrown in jail for it because he never started the game, so the game ends up being a jail cell simulator. Wait a minute, I saw this move. the fuck? Oh man. Well, that was fun. Yay! Whatever, I am out of here.